Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So, just in the office here doing a little bit of editing and was thinking, it looks a little bit bland. So for a bit of motivation and inspiration to keep these videos coming out, I thought maybe a deer rug on the floor would help. So a couple of weeks ago, I had a successful hunt where we managed to harvest a stag and a hind. So what I ended up doing was actually um, skinning the hind and with a plan of turning it into a rug. So, I've been through that process and here is the completed deer rug. So what this video will do is just follow how I went about you know, preparing this rug from skinning the hind in the field to now having the rug here in my office. So I hope you guys enjoy. If you do, please make sure to hit the like button and if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe. It uh, really helps with the channel. So oh, we've had quite a bit of growth over the last few weeks so it'd be cool to see that continue. Okay guys, kick back and enjoy the video. So what I have here is a red deer hind skin. So I've recently been out hunting, I managed to harvest a hind and I thought it was quite a nice skin. So what I did is just skin the deer in the field, tried to remove as much meat as I could uh, when I had a bit of free time around camp. The best, the idea is to try and get as clean a skin as possible. So as you're skinning, is remove as much meat. But you know, if there's a little bit of meat left over, that's not a big issue because once we stretch it out and apply our special mix, that will actually and, and bake it in the sun, all that meat will just start drying off, and then you just go through and scrape it. But what I had, I had a few hours spare. So what I did is I laid it out, went through and cleaned it up as best as I could. In the field. If you do have it, it is a good idea to lay it out and actually salt the skin. And then what I want to do is try and keep it in a nice cool place. Because the last thing you want to do is it for, for the skin to start rotting. And what will happen is actually you'll get hair slip. So the hair will start falling out. Luckily it was a nice cool weekend. So it managed to, you know, I was able to keep it in a nice cool spot. A few things I did do is make sure you remove the, the tailbone. So as you can see, there's still a lot of moisture in there, so I really need to start getting this stretched out. And, you know, and um, otherwise that there is just going to start rotting. But I've managed to keep it in a nice cool spot. So the plan will be, I've just been to Bunnings, I've just grabbed some cheap wood. I'm just going to whip up a quick little frame that's going to pretty much fit the skin. Stretch the skin out over the frame and then apply a kerosene and baking soda mix. So what I'll make up is just a little bit of a mix, kerosene, baking soda, which we'll see shortly and then I'll just apply that to the skin and, and then just sit it down the sun. So what I've done here is just laid the skin out. This way I'll be able to just work out roughly what size frame I want. It's actually held up really well, still nice and cold. I've had it in the fridge overnight, but had some cold, cold days out in the field, so it's, it's yeah, helped preserve it nicely. As you can see, I've removed a lot of the, of a lot of the meat, but if you do have any leftover, any flesh in that on there, that's fine once we apply that that kerosene and baking soda mix, it will you know, it'll start, it will dry it out and then we can just scrape all that off. So let's whip up a frame. Okay, so I've made the frame. Now attach the desk into it. Okay, skin's attached. Now to make up the kerosene and baking soda mix. Okay, so the two secret ingredients, baking soda and kerosene. So I'm just gonna mix these together to make a bit of a paste. And then I'm just gonna paint it onto the skin and then let it bake. So I usually like to make it 
into a bit of a pace like that. Okay, so just apply the first layer of kerosene and baking soda. So I'm just gonna let that bake out. You just wanna be careful not to, you know, make sure it doesn't get blown by flies. So I'll keep it out here for a little while and then I'll move it into, a, into my back shed, which is nice and warm. And then we'll check it out in a few hours and we'll look at putting a second coat on. But what I've done is just with a bit of sandpaper, a knife, a chisel, and just a bit of aluminium. I've just gone through and scraped off what I can. Uh, what I've noticed is there is still some moisture in the skin. So like I say, it has just been sitting in the garage for the last eight days. It hasn't been in the sun. I probably had it in the sun all day Saturday and half a day Sunday. So it's probably about a day and a half. So I need to get back out in the sun and then potentially apply a bit more of the the kerosene and baking soda mix, but we'll get in the sun for a couple of hours and see how it starts coming up. So yeah, moisture up through here. So just got rid of some excess flesh. It's starting to look all right. Okay, the skin's been out in the sun for two days. I've applied another coat of the kerosene baking soda mix and it's all dried up really well. So I'll give it a final final scrub off and then it'll be getting close to being ready. Okay so this is getting pretty close to the finished product. Because it's just going to be a rug I'm not going to get too worried about getting all this. You can keep peeling all this off but yeah I'm happy enough with it. It just depends how long you want to spend on it. So what I'll do now, I'll just take off the frame and then I'll just give it a few days to, to air out, give it a little bit of a trim up and then it'll be ready for the office floor. So there's the skin. Just gone through and taken all the staples off and now I'll give it a bit of a vacuum and a little bit of a trim up. There's a few spots where it's a little bit, I don't know, a little bit grotty. Give it a trim up which will look good. So as you can see, it's pretty solid, but for a rug, that's perfect. If you do want to break it down, you can just work, continue working this with, I don't know, sandpaper or over a bit of wood, but for me, for a rug, for the office, looks pretty good.